All right, our guest of the week today, we got Mr. Sam Hunt on the phone. Yes. Good morning, Sam. How are you? Doing pretty well. Well, I know you're a big sports fan. You've been enjoying baseball season so far. Um, I haven't, man. I haven't watched a game yet. What's what? going on? Come on, man. What's going on? He's, like he's busy writing and, and singing. Well, well that's, yeah, uh, partly, but I, I, move, I live out south of town. We, we moved into this little cabin, and, and for whatever reason, my wife grew up without a TV, so she didn't want a TV, and I was like, I was persuaded. So I don't have a TV. I don't have any way to really um, watch any any sports. Uh, I get on my phone and look at highlights on YouTube, but that's about as far as I go. Oh, man. That's wow. wild. So I'm, I'm out of the loop. I love that. Wow. So no Netflix or any of that stuff you do on your phone? Well, actually, I, I got into the Netflix thing about three years ago. I was late to it, but it, it sucked about six months out of my life because I kept I watched like every show that I missed right. and heard about for, <laughs> for months and then so I, I put Netflix down but um yeah so I'm no I don't, I don't really um this past few months I haven't really uh other than keeping up with what's going on in the world with pandemic clear ups and, and all the progress made there I haven't really forced everything else I'm, I'm a little bit out of the loop on wow. well let me let me help you out the Kardashians they're ending by the way yeah. they're going <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> well, He's like, who? I can't say that that bothers me too much. I know, I know that bothers you so much. Uh, man, listen, Breaking Up was easy in the 90s. Love this song. When this album first came out, we got to hear a few of these songs. I think all of us in this room were like, that is something. Yep. Oh, yeah. Along with Ken folks, obviously, but that was one that really came came to me. What what was the inspiration of that? Probably breakups, obviously, but it was very yeah. clever. Yeah, that was one that, um, let's see, how did that song come about? I, now that I've been writing for several years, I, I have a a couple guys that I write well with and um, I typically like to write my own ideas because typically the ideas come from life on some level or I just feel more connected to ideas that come from um, that, that I've come up with because they usually have a connection to, to my life but that was one that um, my buddy Josh Osborne called me about a year and a half ago and said I have, I've got an idea that sounds like you you know I bet breaking up was easy in the 90s and I was like man I love that idea I wrote it down and I never know for sure that an idea that a song's going to be on a record really until the song's finished but that one i knew i wanted to put on the record when i when i heard the idea so anyway long story short we kept putting it off and the record was about to come out i still hadn't written the song and uh we we got together over uh, outside of town we rented his little cabin to write for two days and uh that was one of the three or four songs we wrote and uh sang it and within a couple of weeks and put it on the record I think a lot of us, um, we love your music so much because we do connect with it. We all went through high school and we all went through those relationships. And, you know, I'm talking about the stuff from, you know, Montevallo. Um, but yeah. it, but what I'm, what are, where are you getting your inspiration now? Because your life has changed so much. Yeah, you're so happy now. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what, what, what are you writing about now, Sam? <laughs> It's kind of a problem as far as songwriting goes because I've always written from from that place, uh, that melancholy place. Um, but uh, yeah, so I mean, all jokes aside, it was kind of—I mean, I had a bit of writer's block for a little while, and I've, you know, some, not all my songs have been necessarily a reflection of my own experiences. You know, I've, I'll step into characters or situations that maybe I can relate to, but haven't haven't been in uh, to the letter of the song, but. Um, started thinking a lot about, you know, what would life be like if I'd gone down this road or that road. Right. And mm -hmm. that really has helped me open up some creative vessels to, to new ideas. And so th this record explores some of those, some perspectives that may not be um, reflective of, of my life and my situation at the moment, but they could have easily reflected my life at the moment had I maybe taken this path or gotcha. that path. Or, right. So um, I've, I've had to kind of put myself in those shoes a little bit. Well, you know what? I got the next title for your next song. I just thought of it. Now that you've told us there's no TV, it's going to be called Hannah, You're the Only TV I Need. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. that's good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't hate it. So I need royalties, baby. <laughs> Co-write. Yeah. Well, in Nashville, they say a word for a third, so that's... um. That's, that's 33% right there. All right. You let me know. <laughs> let me know we need to fly out. I'll come out to the cabin. Yeah. We'll, I'll bring a TV just in case you want one. And it'll be <laughs> All right, Sam, we want to play a little game with you. All right, Lana, explain this game to Sam. We have some questions about what happened in the 90s. And since you wrote about your song, uh, Breaking Up mm -hmm. Was Easy in the 90s, we figured we'd ask you a couple of questions, okay? Yeah. These are all things that happened in the 90s. What actress played Rachel Green on the show Friends? Oh, uh, 
Jennifer Aniston? Jennifer, Jennifer Aniston. 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 Back when he had a TV, yeah. everybody. Yes. All right, so go on. <laughs> All right, what was the what was uh, Whitney Houston's rendition of I Will Always Love You? It topped the charts in 1995. What film was it in? Ooh. Oh, uh, Bodyguard? Bodyguard. Oh, oh, Sam. Oh, Sam. Oh, well done. Right. Keep going. What band is on Beavis's shirt on MTV's Beavis and Butthead? Mm, uh, is it Nirvana? Ooh, oh, that's actually I'm a pretty good guess. It's yeah. Metallica. Ah, <laughs> uh, Metallica, yeah. Yeah, I was... I was uh, I couldn't watch that show growing up. So <laughs> me neither. I couldn't me either. Watch that. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. What was your very first screen name on AOL Instant Messenger? Yes. Ooh, that's a good question. Um, if you can't was... give it up, we understand. If it's like, because some people, it's like still their no. email to this day. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It was. I think it was Red Red. Red Dog 707. Red Dog 707. I love it. And one more thing. What was easier for you to do back in the 90s? Um, huh. Sam, this is a setup for you to promote your song. Oh, right, right. <laughs> I didn't know if I wanted the obvious answer or not. Um, yeah, breaking up. There you go, Sam. <laughs> so great. All right, brother. We appreciate you, man. Enjoy uh, life and say hi to the fam for us. And uh, always appreciate your time. Come see us soon, okay? Please come to Tampa Thanks. soon. Absolutely. I hope to see you guys soon. Good All chatting right. with you.